हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो वी आर बैक इन द एक्लिप्स सीजन सो वी हैव अ लूनार एक्लिप्स ऑन फोर्टीन मार्च 2025 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव विच इज अ टोटल लूनार एक्लिप्स ऑन द सेम डे वी हैव द फेस्टिवल ऑफ होली एंड एट द सेम टाइम सैटन एंड सन विल बी एंगेज इन अ प्लैनेटरी वॉर दैट इज दे विल बी वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर with a mere 1 degree separation almost on the same degree in the sign of aquarius or kumbh so these are three key events that will happen and we will study the impact of this combination or these events in this video now there are two eclipses that are happening in the month of march 2025 one is on 14th march 2025 there is a lunar eclipse lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes between the sun and the moon and the earth then casts its shadow on the moon now because of refraction of light from the earth's surface the moon will appear blood red during the time of eclipse and therefore this is also called as a blood moon eclipse Similarly exactly 15 days later on March 29th 2025 you have a total solar eclipse in this video we will talk mainly about the lunar eclipse on 14th March 2025 now let us understand a few things about this eclipse first is this eclipse is not visible in india where is it visible it is visible in north and south america europe western africa cities such as dublin lisbon new york los angeles toronto chicago mexico city santiago brasilia washington dc auckland san francisco havana now the eclipse starts at 9:29 am indian standard time it peaks at 12:29 pm ist and it concludes at 3:30 pm ist so because this eclipse is happening during the day time and on the purnima day in india the moon will not be visible to us or we cannot see this eclipse however in europe in north america south america western africa the eclipse will be visible and the impact of this eclipse will be maximum in those areas so when the eclipse starts the moon is at 28 degrees in the sign of leo and it slowly moves into the sign of virgo so the moon will transition through the purva falguni nakshatra and eventually it will be in close conjunction with ketu and thus come under the rahu ketu axis so ketu is in the sign of virgo represented by the letters ke and rahu venus mercury neptune they are in the sign of pisces which is the top left square so as time progresses the moon enters virgo in the purva falguni nakshatra now since the eclipse begins in the sign of leo let us understand what this means it also coincides with the festival of holi and therefore this eclipse holds deep spiritual and geopolitical significance lunar eclipse represents the culmination of our past karma revelations endings and transformations and because it falls on holi which is a festival of colors and renewal it suggests a moment of global karmic reckoning purification and rebirth now the eclipse is occurring in the sign of leo and the sign of leo represents government kings ancestors and authority whereas ketu in virgo is supposed to bring detachment kios and hidden scandals out moon is our mind moon is our emotions and ketu is detachment so when moon moves towards ketu ideally if you start meditating it will be very good for you in this time period now remember that eclipses are 
trigger points for intense change and because this is happening in the sign of leo which represents government power and authority this combination shows a dramatic shift in power structures a leadership crisis and revelation of scandals and hidden truths at the global level now let us try and understand the impact of this eclipse on different countries so we will first begin with the united states of america so the eclipse is happening in the sign of leo and therefore it will impact the political landscape expose hidden government secrets financial scandals and leadership will struggle a lot in the united states of america there will be change in policies political upheaval shift in governance economic turbulence stock market instability rise in populist movements and social unrest in usa now if you see when this eclipse is happening there is also a planetary war between saturn and sun in aquarius so you can see the letters sa and su sa is saturn su is sun they are both at almost the same degree that is around 28 to 29 degrees and this suggests a very close conjunction between sun and saturn and both are having opposite opposing ideas sun represents power dominance authority whereas saturn represents the masses it represents discipline order structure and saturn represents obstacles whereas sun represents royalty if sun is the father saturn is the child and this shows a struggle between the government and the masses saturn also represents the public the masses the sign of aquarius represents working in groups and therefore here you see a political struggle a political clash between the public and the government in united states of america so definitely it is a very turbulent time in united states of america where the leadership will struggle a lot people will also protest a lot and there could be a potential recession and stock market downfall in the united states what will happen in europe in europe the banking system will be stressed out there will be rise in racism and protests across europe energy crisis challenges to european union's unity cyber attacks terrorism and also weather changes will affect europe in a big way you could see floods storms and agriculture getting disturbed in a major way in europe europe will also see major terrorist attacks by islamic radicals and this is something which the lunar eclipse will trigger now what happens in the middle east in the middle east you will see major rising religious fervor radicalism and military escalation and oil market fluctuation so this eclipse can act as a trigger point for provoking the middle east into a war now let us understand a bit about the holy festival the holy festival is celebrated because a demon called holika was killed when she tried to burn prallad the son of a demon hiranyakashipu but this child prallad was a great devotee of vishnu holika had a boon that fire could never burn her but brahma had put a condition that if she ever misused her power against a vaishnavite then she would not be protected and get burnt and she had forgotten this condition when hiranyakashipu told holika to take prallad into the fire with her she thought that she was protected by brahma's boon but unfortunately prallad was a great devotee of vishnu and therefore in the process prallad was not harmed by the fire instead holika was burnt to death hiranyakashipu was very angry as his son was not accepting his superiority and his son was chanting the name of vishnu all the time so he wanted to get him killed but whatever he did he could not succeed and finally vishnu emerges in the form of narsimha and kills hiranyakashipu this happens when hiranyakashipu asks prallad is your god present in these pillars 
and he destroys the pillar and from that narsimha emerges and kills hiranyakashipu so in short this festival tells us that god comes to protect his devotees who are being persecuted so the eclipse on holi suggests purging of old energies forcing the world into a spiritual reset as holi represents burning away of illusions that is holika dahan and embracing the new light this suggests hidden truths will emerge demanding transformation on personal as well as collective levels so this lunar eclipse and the festival of holi coinciding is a karmic turning point for global leadership economies and spiritual realization out of the chaos a new world order will start taking shape with old structures crumbling and fresh ones coming up now as the moon passes through the uttara falguni nakshatra which is associated with contracts unions alliances fulfillment of responsibilities moon's connection with ketu in virgo opposed by retrograde venus mercury rahu in pisces indicates a period of introspection unveiling hidden truths and restructuring the social norm now because the eclipse is not visible in india there is no sutak kal you need not follow any specific practices it is good if you meditate during the time of the eclipse and the eclipse will impact united states of america europe western africa new york chicago netherlands mexico san francisco washington dc the most so in short this eclipse shows leadership changes as it starts in leo social movements due to the planetary war between saturn and sun a major global recession crumbling of the banking system in europe and united states so many banks will fail in the united states of america because this is also happening in the sign of virgo and the aspect of mars and rahu on the moon and ketu shows terrorist attacks will happen in europe and usa mainly now remember one thing events don't happen immediately on the day of the eclipse itself they take some time but eclipse acts as a trigger point and definitely now we are seeing two eclipses coming one is the solar eclipse on 29th march and the lunar eclipse on 14th march so this triggers major change which you will see very shortly so friends that's all from my end if you like this video do mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button to know more about us you can visit our website astroseva.tripod.com or you can reach us through our email id at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe